Welcome back to Micro Maintenance and season three of Wingnuts. We've had an epic time whilst you guys have been away. We hope we have some awesome content for you to watch uh, during this season. Uh, we had four aircraft come in all at the same time that should have been straightforward, easy jobs, but turned out to be much, much more. This episode is all about one of those aircraft. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the new format. Oh. And don't forget, watch the bloopers at the end. As far as I'm aware, we're yeah. going in for a wing strip inspection. Yeah. We're going to clean it, batten profile, and change the trim bridle upper and lower. We're also going to take the skin off and send it off to top flight sales, of which you've arranged, but we're going to post. Okay. Engine wise, is a standard 200 hour Rotax, uh, replacing fuel lines and filter. Uh, we're going to inspect uh, and look at replacing the cool lines. Yeah. And we're doing a gearbox inspection like say that that that's obviously just to remove it what we discover in there uh, yeah yeah i mean if you can keep me up sort of yeah, you, we, we don't just go and oh, that'll be five million pounds please. yeah, yeah know, great. we'll, we'll this will take us to a point of quote the other thing i don't you know who's going off for wing repairs which are going to cost a lot i don't know you know when you, when you come to the permit and the bets test Perhaps you want to bet test Best a bit before, before you it goes. It. <laughs> yeah, Last yeah, time it yeah. passed fine. Well, uh, as I say, as, as part of the as part of the wing strip inspection, we always bet test a wing anyway. Because what we don't want to do is do a wing strip inspection, give you a bill for a load of new parts, and then bet test it, and it fails. So you know, it's pretty much one of the first things we do is bet test a wing on a wing strip inspection okay, before sending it to flight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why I want to bring it here and strip it and. You know, sort of well. Because I don't know, so I can fly it with a piece of mind or sell it with a piece yeah, of Yeah, well, that's exactly Yeah, A lot of people are doing exactly the same. At least when, you know, it rolls out of here, there's been a line drawn in it, and you know it's straight yeah, from there. Yeah, so that's what I'm after. Give a little feature from me online for it, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Us, well, we, we uh, yeah. as you can see, our band loves shoving a camera in everyone's face. Excellent. This one's come in for a 200 hour service and gearbox service and we're just doing an initial pre-start inspection on it before taking out and, out and, run it and running it up and um, one of the good things it's always good to do is to step back from the thing and look at it from a distance just to check the symmetry and um, if you look at the back of this one especially the oil cooler relative to the, uh, the subframe yeah. It all looks, so there's something interesting going on there, but we're not quite sure what. So, needs further investigation. <laughs> the lawn mounts have yeah. been mounted wrong. So, instead, you see those are sat on top. These ones, when they've been replaced, so too high, are it? underneath. So the plates are twisting. There's a hell of a lot of uh, wobbling. <laughs> There's a lot of, it needs some TLC, doesn't it? There's a lot of TLC, this one. This is going to be one where we just write down lots of things and then go, that's what. That's what's really wrong with it. Mm -hmm. This is what you think it needed and this is what really needs. <laughs> Well, so we've done service persons, done the engine run. It wouldn't get to its permit now, would it? No. Looking at these, oh, um, custard. Looking at these plugs. This would be a good one. So the. Um, 
they're non-standard spark plugs so they're Bosch plugs rather than the NGK DCP R7E plugs that would normally be in this one and um, the gaps the new limit should be between like 0.6 and 0.7 the maximum wear limit would be 0.9 and these are well in excess of one millimeter but also if you look at this one you see it's white all the way around the core but then there's that black section looks like the spark has been it's been tracking down somewhere where it shouldn't do and then uh, all the other plugs all the cores are very white apart from the plugs for cylinder two which are completely coked black so either that's been running really really rich or too cold so there's been some interesting things going on <laughs> Certainly. so what is it you're looking for Alan uh, <coughs> well I'm looking for this is an old cradle old design cradles mm -hmm. which haven't which you identify by not having some gussets on the front here which were put on to stop the the cradle cracking um, so this is the old style one but nevertheless uh, with it being twisted I'm looking for cracks on the support structure which has allowed that to twist um, and at the moment there's no cracks evident but that doesn't say that they're not hiding in some way or another it's difficult to see there's a line around that well but whether that's just a dirty line or whether it's a crack we'll have to investigate yeah. we're back in with a prize because I said we'd let him know about the gearbox, whether it was, yeah. whether it was straightforward. So when we ring him up, I don't want to surprise him. No, don't have fun. So I was asking about, because it's... Uh, did you actually give him a quote before? Yeah, yeah, it's on paper. Yeah, yeah so because it'll be a lot more than that. Well, I, 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 I gave him a price to remove it, uh, and I said that obviously the gearbox part you're looking at a good for, but... Okay. Um, because whilst it's off, you might as well do X, Y, and Z. But, yeah. We're replacing all the fuel hoses. Uh, but we're doing one at a time and rerouting them exactly the same route as it came out. So it just makes it a lot easier. And uh, we're also going to do the coolant hoses later. And then. Hello, Mark. <laughs> what do you want? You got, I got a really big jigsaw want? puzzle. I've got a big jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> uh, collectively known as a wing. Ah. So, uh, yeah, lots of bits and bobs, uh, lots of parts, uh, old parts, new parts. Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, yeah, just in the process of changing all the nuts and bolts, washers. And uh, then we'll, uh, as once they're all in uh, in the right area, we'll uh, start putting the whole frame together. And here's the Don, looking very busy, <laughs> and Bobby's coming to assist. Hello, Bobby. Kisses. Uh, what are you up to? Just doing an oil change on this one and I'm just going to lock wire the uh, sump plug. So it said uh, I'll have to take the tank off to stand it upright to get all the fluid out of it. And uh, yeah, I'm just lock wiring the sump plug up. Cool. Is there any further work on this as well after you've done that one? Yeah, there's plenty. There's gearbox to go back on, uh, full hose change, carb, uh, refurb, and yeah, plenty to do on this one. Just need a coolant hose change complete. Octopus. So changing all the clips as well because they're pretty corroded. Quite welded. 
added on actually, the old, uh, the old clips and hoses. No idea, are they? No. Not easy to get off either. <laughs> Completed it. I think coolant, um, hose, and clip replacement on this. I'll just put the radiator back on. And now is it bent? Is it for you at all? No, no. <laughs> smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. <laughs> Not small ones. <laughs> Um, so, getting ready to put the gearbox back on, but the drive gear has to go on first. So um, that's all just been cleaned up, and uh, there's a frost washer and a nut, and that needs to get done up to 200 newton meters, and then the gearbox is all to go in. So just making sure everything's all nice and clean, so that all of the uh, the lock tight will hold. It's back on. I want the gearbox back on. Yay, yeah, Smithy! <laughs> well, it looks like I'm taking it off and put it back on anyway. But lots of red spots in there. Awesome. What's that to do? Um, just having a new, having a new fuel pump. That's got to go back on it, and then the, uh, um, just turning it over by hand just to check that the oil pressure is going up and then it can go out and be started. Okay, so a uh, bit of a quick update on the Blue Quantum. It's progressed somewhat this week. So the engine team, Shelly, Smithy and the Don have been working on the engine. We've got lots that's gone on with here, replaced all the, uh, the rubber parts uh, which has gone on. The engine's had a full detail new fuel pump the gearbox went back on yesterday uh, replaced all the coolant pipes um, going to the radiator pretty much anything that you can do to this engine has been done there was a few other faults that got resolved as well with the engine mounts exhaust been redone there's a few little things that we're not happy with prop bolts are going to get switched out uh, we need to um, clamp the exhaust back together so the uh, on the security lock wiring so that needs to go on brendan mr flex he's been working away on this all week uh, we had varying parts that arrived unfortunately some parts also didn't arrive so um, we've raided our store cupboard for some new parts that we that we had in stock so we're able to get this wing back uh, together in some format we still have the A-frame uh, to go back in, which means we can then do the trimmer. We need to do the fin. Um, looks to be the flying wires and the uh, landing wires. So I'm gonna drop on this for a couple of hours and see if we can get this wig progressed. This sail uh, has just come back from uh, Top Flight Sales and wow, what a job they've done. It just looks awesome. Some amazing repairs. When this wing is fully rigged, I'll go through some of those repairs and some of the work that they've done because really, what a top job. Top flight sales, everybody. Anyway, let's see what the day brings. Good morning and welcome back the workshop it's a very early cold but bright start to the morning uh, we've got a monster day uh, on today um, yesterday I finished rigging this wing um, and I said I want to show you some of the bits that have been done to it because I'm actually very very impressed I don't know why I should not have been but I am uh, with some of the work that's been done by top flight sales link in the description uh, below but I thought I'd, uh, I'd give you a quick walk around this wing and let you have a quick look at some of the work. So um, this wing came to us, it was a relatively old wing. I can't say that it was in terrible condition, but the leading edges particularly had really started to delaminate. They were like sandpaper 
um, and although there are some things uh, that you can do uh, inevitably they're shot they're done um, it's only a matter of time before an inspector uh, is not happy for you to fly any longer and what you'll probably notice is a huge reduction um, in the flight characteristics particularly you'll notice that the stall speed will start to increase uh, obviously the stall speed on a check flight is very important and it tells you many many things but if you're really struggling to slow down um, your wing uh, the chances are um, that the leading edges are so rough that they're not allowing the airflow uh, to travel over the wing it's just becoming uh, no more laminar it, it's just it's like icing uh, and so the stall characteristics of your wing go up anyway this has been to uh, top flight sales as I've said two or three times and I can't even begin to tell you what a fantastic job they've done I mean take a look at this stitching it's just impeccable really really nice great quality materials used as well really really lovely what I've also spotted is they've done several patches here as well that have gone in they've put some support pieces on high wear areas as well which are here um, yeah just a, a really really nice job so anyway I'm about to de-rig this this wing get it back in its bag to make space for another aircraft um, so once we've done the run-ups we'll re-rig this wing get back on the track get it for check flight but I thought you guys would want to take a, a good look at this wing uh, and particularly the work that's been done to it before we derigged it. They've even uh, rebuilt the keel pocket there. Yeah, stunning job. Well done, guys. Clear. What are you waiting for to finish? Kelly. Jot a micro maintenance sticker on there. 
Yeah. Lots of money on your plane, apparently. <laughs> I'm well up for that. What are you up to? Um, putting your gearbox back on. <laughs> you seem really, really happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tell us Very what you're up to then. What are you preparing for? Uh, putting your gearbox back on. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> See you later.